Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are back with a new episode of the Challenge World Championship. This is episode eight. Um, and we're gonna move it right along with this episode because that's exactly what this episode did. It was very <laughs> like, <laughs> it was very like <laughs> point A, point B, point B. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um but yeah so we're starting off the episode coming back from elimination and literally i think the first 20 minutes or so everybody's sick everybody is sick <laughs> which we knew from the preview that um something was ha gonna happen with that um so we have ben who is really ill um and sarah is helping to take care of him um but we don't really know exactly what's going on um but yeah he's sick and then tristan is sick and he tells kellyanne that you know how he's feeling and she's thinking like we might have to pack up and go if you can't get out of bed as he said and then also amber is feeling sick as well um but as we already know now um we i, I as i assumed as well that it probably had to do with the fact that amber was pregnant um and um suspicions are later on confirmed um but yeah so ben is sick <laughs> the doctors <laughs> the ben is sick the doctors come uh the medics come and check him out and they take him to the hospital. Um, and Tristan's still in the house, but we don't at this point know what's going to happen with him. Yeah. Uh, like you said, this first half was all about the sickness. I, I wish they didn't do it too long. Like we, like you said, we already knew about Amber B. So that was like really a non-factor. And then Ben, I feel bad for Ben because he just can't catch a break. He he's giving very much. He got sick. Did he get hurt the first time? The first season. Uh, he didn't finish. Right? He got he disqualified. Broke his, he got uh, medically DQ. Like yeah. He hurt his back, right? Yep. Or his shoulder or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's giving very much Nam. They they're just not going to complete a season. <laughs> he gonna he gonna hopefully come back. They gave Nam like three tries. He's okay with him stay like staying because he was he brought some drama. He was against like. He had like things he needed to do, like and he, he was yeah. actually playing the game. Yeah, and yeah, I that's respect like, that. Like he was actually not afraid to make moves. He was doing stuff, and I yeah. mean that's really all you can ask for from anybody when you watch the show. It's just somebody needs to not be afraid to play the damn game, and that yeah, was yeah. And that's what I'm afraid moving forward after we see what happened as far as KC. I must say, uh, because I think being co contrary to what everybody like his bigger alliance wanted, it actually made me like KC's game. Yeah, because, because she yeah, was doing yeah. stuff against the bigger group, which she usually is with the bigger group. And I was like, okay, KC being like yeah. the other dog person. Ben, and I like that. Ben brought out a different side of her that made me like, okay, I think I like it. Again, that's why I said this season without Nani really being there, we got to see and like Big Brother, of course, too. But we really got to see KC play the game, and it was refreshing to see because we never saw KC play the game. Even her rookie season, she was booed up. Even then, it's just like now that she's like able to like move around and do what she needs to do, like yeah. So I'm kind of scared mm -hmm. to see what will happen next. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, Ben is taken away to the hospital to the hospital and so never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say never to be seen again never to be seen again <laughs> so as of right now we don't know what's happening with him so we go ahead to the challenge um and um before the challenge starts tj lets us know that ben is not going to be able to complete the challenge and he starts um like they give like dramatic music as if they're gonna say like a possibility <laughs> you can say. You can say. because I was like if there's a possibility bring John Hay back not like you know what I mean like don't stop playing exactly. <laughs> like, so I was like there's no possibility because if you had alternates you would have been you would already brought them out you know yeah. and so um but then he says in Casey you have to leave too and so before Casey could leave Amber who was already, um, you know, feeling bad. She tells, she is crying and she says she's really sick. She's not going to be able to complete it. Can her and Casey switch spots and Casey stay and she leaves. And TJ says he's cool with that. And so now Casey is going to be Troy's partner um, and Amber is going to be leaving the game. But I do commend Amber B for allowing that to happen. So, I mean, it was cute. It was cute, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little bit. Uh, so I 
you know, I, I agree that if you're going to leave or you don't think you can stay, you should do it before a person leaves and if they yeah. have the possibility to stay. But I was also a little bit like, I was of two minds because one way I was that, but the other way I was like, save it for afterwards because what if Kellyanne needs you? <laughs> what if <laughs> Kellyanne need that extra partner? Because <laughs> I was yeah. like, Tristan, we don't know what's about to happen. So tomorrow Tristan could leave and now Kellyanne, you really going home because Amber that gave away the spot. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was still pretty cool that they was actually able to even allow. Yeah, that I was glad. Because yeah. normally they just would send everybody home. But I think it just made home. sense because Tristan decided to stay <laughs> and Amber was going to quit regardless whether or not, um, regardless of the situation, Amber was, Amber was quitting no matter what. Yeah. Um, I don't think it mattered whether or not Ben was going to show up or not. She was quitting regardless. So I yeah, think it was, was just cool. Regardless of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it was just good that it was just that worked out. And especially for that Australian alliance, just for a moment. Uh, this challenge was called Ripcord Roulette, which is basically, I will say this was a good version of trivia to play. Yeah. It kept it um, suspenseful. I don't, well, I will talk about it. So it was played in three heats. Uh, teams are essentially suspended above a uh, side of a building with five rip cords in front of them. The TJ will ask them a trivia question uh, one at a time. If they get it correct, they can uh, choose another team to pull the rip cord. If the rip cord is attached to, uh, so there, so out of the five, there was one actual uh, cord that will release. The other four were dummy cord, so it was basically. Again, Russian roulette. So you have to choose which one, and then um, if you get a if you if you didn't answer the trivia question correctly, mm -hmm. you will automatically pull one. And then again, if you pull the dummy one, you will stay suspended. If not, you'll be released. Um, this first seat I did not like at all because why would you put all the Australians together? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think I feel like it should have been like you know how back in the day they had everybody lined up. Yeah. And I think it more. Yeah, it, it wasn't that many more teams where they couldn't. Get... Yeah, it wasn't that many teams where they couldn't just have one platform. Yeah, with everybody. Yeah. yeah, I wish they would have did all the teams. I mean, I mean, you want to top, but of the I think it would have made sense to have all the teams there. Also, who the fuck is picking this random order? Yeah, like yeah. that. Like I think, like I said, that when is, I think the that's the problem is that they're picking this random order because what was the point of having? three Australian teams if the way if, if they just wanted to go by country well Jody and Benha automatically get to go to the final round because it's yeah. just them it's then them. you have the two USA teams then you have the two UK teams yeah. and you have the three Australian teams and then whoever loses of those heats goes to the last round if and then, you can throw Jody and Benha in there if that's yeah. what you want to do and to that point, also there was the third round was only two teams, so I don't know why they didn't do do four and four. Like it really didn't make no sense. Yeah, but like you said, I thought it was a really good way to do trivia. And Tristan came in and knew all types of random facts. Uh, so he was he was amazing, and he was sick. Uh, but he was that cord was hold he that he needed that harness anyway to hold him up. <laughs> he was like just he was out of it, but he was still able to pull it off. So. You know, kudos to him. All he had to do was pull a damn string. I hope he was good, well enough to do that. He just had to pull a damn string. He got yeah. his brain got a function for the question. And he he said, is Kellyanne can do trivia. You just sit there. He knew well, Kellyanne all didn't all act like she couldn't because she didn't. Yeah, about to say he knew everything. But yeah, so um, overall, the winner was Kellyanne and Tristan. <laughs> And the overall loser was unfortunately Ben High and Jody because they that literally could not. They that are unlucky. <laughs> that was that was funny. It was like literally, yes, said it. Like you had ten to one odds, and you did it twice. That was crazy. <laughs> but I knew you, it was gonna be them. How did you? Soon they didn't even answer a question. Yeah. No one even picked them to like. No one picked them to win, and I understand that. But at the same time, you didn't even get a chance to do it. It was almost like it's almost like on Dirty 30 when Caleb put all the people who hated her before 
her so everybody just gave her an x so by the time <laughs> she got it like she didn't even get a question because you put all the people ahead of you that's what it yeah. felt like watching like you didn't even get a chance to participate because you suck at Russian roulette bro. <laughs> yeah, that was thank, so God, thank God it was just falling and went an actual gun. Yeah. yeah, that was so unlucky for them. Cause, it, but as soon as Jody said, "All we have to do," I was like, "It's over." She, said, <laughs> she was like, "All we have to do is is, stay, is not be last." I was like, "Girl, like, <laughs> yeah." What she, <laughs> yeah, what she said that I was like, "Oh, poor child!" Like, like <laughs> you just had to say something, like. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Jody and Ben Hart are in last place, so they're going directly into elimination. So when we get to nominations, uh, <clears throat> when we get to nominations, it's it it was like a kind of odd because when they were discussing it and Tori wouldn't say Casey's name, it was like it wouldn't have made a difference. Because so I was like, just please, please, please. Yeah, don't I don't. Like, like, hey, this is not a battle that you should die on. And it like, wasn't something that she tore. Like it wasn't something that. Casey would have held against her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it was only, she was going in. So just say it. It wasn't <laughs> even, it, it was like, she understood. First of all, she's just happy to be in the damn game in the first place. So obviously she's going to understand that one, she's on an Australian team that clearly they don't have your back. So if you throw a vote on me, there's literally nothing I can do about it. It's not going to change. Y'all have the numbers. Okay, cool. And then on top of that, it's two strong people on the same team. Yeah. You were screwed no matter what. Yeah. So Tori just, Tori got over, oh my God. Thank goodness for Darrell. Because that, that made me laugh so hard. When he said that that shit was fighting words, <laughs> oh my when i tell you i rewinded and played that like three times that shit had me dying when tori got mad at danny was like i hate you i wish you never would have picked me as a partner they immediately cut to the rail and all you hear is in his interview oh, them fighting words yeah, yeah. It's like i'm watching a make, soap opera again it didn't make sense for her to like really like jordan said you think i wanted to do this it's a game, like just both. She asked Jordan for confirmation, and Jordan literally was like, "I'm voting for my friend. Why can you not do the same?" Yeah, because it's not one of the times where it would make or break. Like I can understand. It's we, no, it's not. Yeah. You yeah, burning not a vote on yourself for what reason? It makes yeah. zero sense. The animosity between um, Danny and Tori uh, with their no, whole. Partnership. I feel like I feel like this is the type of season that production will be would be messy. And if they make it to the final, gonna be like, would you like to split the cash or would you like <laughs> to take it off? Correct. I think the I think the problem is that Tori has never really been a social player because she's so she's no, got the, say, she's got the friendships, but Tory in terms of politicking, controlling votes and stuff like that. I don't normally get that from her because she's, she's always good, in the majority. Yeah, but she's she a good social of, player. She's a little shaky on the political side, but I think she does enough to get by. However, yeah. I don't think she knows how to separate the game. And I think that's where her main problem is. But that's is. what I'm saying. A good her social player is, can do that. Like she's no she knows yeah, in theory she knows how to play the game and she knows what she needs to do. Right. But when it comes down to her friend, it's just like tunnel vision. I'm not voting for my friend. Even like you said, even though we know which is, yeah. Which is understandable. And and I, I get that. I understand it. But at the same time, this ain't one of them games. Like yeah. you, yeah, at, at, games. and then at some point you do get to a point in the game where you do have to vote in your friends. That's mm -hmm. the name of the game. But I feel like Tori's not really that great of a social player. And Danny didn't even have a damn social game when he was on Challenge USA. Mm. So it's just like two people with shitty social games are on the same team, but they're so damn good physically. And when it comes to challenges, it's like they're such a good parent. It's like you just want them to get along, but they can't. 
Yeah. Also, I don't understand what, why Danny is hell bent on destroying Tori's numbers. Like again, they that does nothing. Are, that, that, that 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 makes that's a very good point. That makes zero sense, bro. Because you're tied together, and yeah. she's her numbers. are not an individual thought. game. Like Lori want to destroy his numbers too. He want to destroy her numbers. So but she's not destroying his numbers. She said that too. She said she I want to. But she has said, like, I want to make sure Danny don't have... I mean, she'll say these exact words, but she did say in one of the episodes, I want to take away some of the numbers for Danny, I guess, just because... I don't I don't really know what they're... I don't, I don't think so. so. I don't recall her saying that. I know that she said... I know she was trying to get rid of the Australians. Because but I don't think she... Because with Danny and Sarah. But see, here, here's another thing. But it's different because Danny numbers are the direct opposition of them. As a team, Australia doesn't fit into their plan. If that it makes doesn't. Sense. It never did. What also didn't make sense was how when at nominations, I think it was nominations, it may have been earlier, when Sarah mentioned that, oh, with Johnny and Justine gone, that's a hit to our numbers. And I had to think to myself for a second. I'm like, you didn't even want to work with them <laughs> the whole time. Who said yeah. that? You lost, you lost Justine, but Justine didn't have <laughs> Justine had zero control over the politics for that team. So you yeah. literally didn't have numbers. You eliminating people that can literally help you is so ass backwards. And I don't yeah. get it. Cause they want to protect Emily and then Grant when he was there. But it's like if you see what they're doing to their team, you think they're gonna protect you? Exactly. But- that's none of my biz. This, and I find it funny how Sarah was like, um, Tori, this is the game you keep signing up for. I will agree with her. Like, Tori, you got that, like, like, that. No, that, Tori, she, that shit is very she, true. She, she, she's not lying with Sarah. She wasn't like, lying. That was, the, that was the first time I think I agreed with Sarah. At yeah, any that was point the first time I agreed. That was yeah, the first time I was like, like, you know what? Sarah got a point. She right. <laughs> you can't even deny it. She got a point. I, yeah, was, I, think- I will say this episode, it didn't turn my opinion about Sarah, but I think this episode did shine a better light to her because even with her problems with Ben, she was still there concerned about him and trying to take care of him. And like I said, she did tell Tori, like, girl, you signed up for this. This is the hand you're dealt it's with. It's a game. Make a decision. Like, yeah. It's a game. At so, the end of the day, it's a game. Like, you, you making it personal. Like yeah, you, you, you can't make this game personal. And then for you to even throw a vote on yourself, things can quickly change. I was like, these exactly. Who you said that? My, somebody else might be like, "Up, oh, we got them." Uh, <laughs> and we only needed that one. Exactly. Vote. Yeah, because they ended me. up in a tie. So if they wanted, once they did that revote, if they really wanted Tori and Danny in there, all Cass had to do was change her vote. And I don't <laughs> know why Troy, and Troy, and, uh, Casey did a uh, burn vote. Like y'all could have been cleared because it yeah. was literally three and three. If Troy and uh Casey didn't say Jordan and Kaz and said Danny and Tori, Danny and Tori would have been. But at the same time, I think I think <laughs> I think it was Troy trying to prove a point. I that, get that, but at the same time, no. I but you, like, but you, but you have to see that. What was the point? He want, <laughs> he wanted. No, I, to, I don't know what you, I don't know what the point was. What, what was the point? Was? I think the point was just he wanted to just show like, okay, we can have a difference of opinion. We can vote for a friend, or we can just burn a vote and just be accepting of it instead of just arguing and fight about the shit. Whereas, okay, whereas Tori and Danny, they can't get along on any damn vote. So in their misery. Put the ass in. You said take them out. Um, when we get to elimination, um, uh, who has too many K names? Uh, Kelly Ann and uh Tristan have decided to put in uh Casey and Troy against Ben Han Jody, and so in this instance, it was hard for me to to I didn't I mean I know that I'm like oh I don't know. Is Ben um Ben Ha and Casey uh, Ben Ha and Jody might be a long shot, but I like Ben Ha. I, I really do it. I don't want I don't I want do. to leave. I do. I do I just feel like Ben Ha got the worst end of the stick. Like I really 
I but maybe like next time he can just... maybe come back and he has more experience with the game. He's last he's lasted as the mo- the he's the last from his country. So hopefully he could, he could come back because he's seen a lot of the game and he understands how it works now. And mm-hmm. the moment I knew they lost is when Jody said, "We didn't. Uh, my son's birthday tomorrow. Your girlfriend's birthday next week. We didn't come here to uh, uh, miss these significant others and our kids." And I was just like, uh, you just let your last storyline out. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, but they, um, so the elimination commences and basically they have to put a puzzle together, but, um, or they have to. So basically each- one yeah. team member is strapped uh, to a rotating platform. Yeah. Uh, their partner must spin and hold the platform upright so they can see over a wall. Yeah. And describe an answer key uh, that's behind it, and the team member that is holding that person upright will let the platform go, and then try to recreate that uh, puzzle using towels on the board. Yeah, Ben Hall was just spinning, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was paying attention at all. But I think maybe I think he was paying like, attention. It was more on Jody, I think, because the yeah, because she just like go to hold it, and Jody, well, I think she must have just been like, shoo. <laughs> <laughs> Then I wasn't like stable at all. Um, so maybe you know he was more disoriented. I don't know, but yeah, like somebody mentioned in the uh confessional, um uh KC was kind of slow steady. She was able to read the read the different things and tell uh and tell Troy concisely where to put things. I think it was easier because she wasn't like spinning around and moving. Mm-hmm. I do think that Jody and Beha had a good uh plan. The execution was a little uh, sus, but having it to be a grid where it's like, okay, D, D3, D6, that's the two oh, pieces. Yeah, yeah. I think the yeah. thing that really just messed up with Jody, not Jody, uh, Ben Ha describing the pieces is what really got them. <laughs> yeah, Ben Ha, when, when he read the first, when he was reading the first piece, I'm like, oh my God, he don't know shapes. <laughs> I was it like, was he a, don't know shapes. It, it was, was just a, the it way. Like a church for me and I was like none of these pieces I said my oh yeah when he started describing what the tiles were because the colors is one thing I would have just focused on the colors you tell me what you see and I can repeat back to you what I remember or something like that or just go in order of go across and yeah. then go down mm. I'm surprised across. none of them did that they all did the two pieces that match I would have just did it straight across. like Yeah, it would have made more to, sense because you have access puzzles. to all of the pieces. Just tell me what colors are straight down. And mm. it's, I don't know. I feel like they made it. Yeah. They was working Another harder thing I instead of smarter. Was, was yeah, me, Benha was fucking up bad time. Bad. Yeah, if it was me, it may have been double work, but I would have put all the pieces on the board and then tell me what piece needs to get moved and where. Like, let's work yeah. this throughout the work and then we just move these pieces or whatever the case may be because nobody do has time to look check every two pieces. seconds yeah <laughs> but yeah so ben ha and jody end up losing this elimination so um casey and troy do get to stay which is actually good because then you know casey would have went home still if she would have lost this one so <laughs> so that's that's good you don't have to do that but um yeah so casey and troy are staying ben ha and jody are you know what i just thought about yeah. Huh? This is the second time they say Casey from elimination. Because they did the same uh, 38 when they brought her uh, back. When her and Kenny got eliminated and they literally brought her back like two episodes later. Yeah, I yeah, I remember It's that. giving favoritism. It's giving rig. <laughs> they try to get Casey to the final. <laughs> Not as giving. It's giving favoritism. Let's get into the fantasy draft. So I run out of plays, ain't y'all? I'm about to say, I would just like to say it's, it's for the love of the game, okay? It's yeah. <laughs> Damn, well, you, how you, you lost three people in one episode? Jesus. <laughs> one episode. This nigga lost half his team. <laughs> so, I'm at 841 uh, with my points. Um, none of my players were really <laughs> confessional people this uh, week outside of Tori, Tristan, and Ben Ha. I got some comp points from Kellyanne, uh, Tori for her verbal altercation with Danny and such. And then also uh, Tristan gave me some comp points. Theo ain't getting shit all season. I just want to throw it out there. Right behind me with 822 points, 
You have look at that. literally I, look at that. Look at that. When the last time I lost a kid? When the last time I lost a person on my team? <laughs> Think about that. See, you wanna lost, lost Casey today? When the last I'm time I lost somebody? I ain't lose nobody. You lost Casey. It just so happens. I'm gonna lose. Back. I'm gonna lose Durell and Kiki because I don't see them making no final. But everybody else. You gonna lose the... Troy and Casey too? I'm not Troy. Troy. Troy and Casey making the final, bro. Relax. I don't think they're making it to the final. Relax. Relax. I think the a... only person you can really bet on probably is Cass. Before you get place. to me, I would just like to say it's not about the size of the team. We nah, got you probably got like one. How many of you got like, like one? Two we people? got heart and we be here. <laughs> I know you got Jordan, ball. but that's it, right? In third oh, you need one good player. In third you got place, Jordan. You got, you got yes. GG with 480 points. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got a whole team on your squad. So when <laughs> yes. That's okay. Jordan. When they, oh, yeah. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Yeah, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? You how about you just delegate? You just give me Jordan. No, <laughs> just give me Jordan so me how and my son can have. A, how a, much a is it if you win? I think that should be able to come back. <laughs> I think that's it, crazy. Uh, if you win, it is so. First place is 100, second place is 50, third place is 25. I think we just changed that. The winner should get like a thousand. So just in case we <laughs> win, I can come back That's from the bottom. Crazy. So that is uh, our review and recap of this week's episode of the Challenge uh, World Championship. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. And we will see you on our next video. Peace.